So Hobbes tells us that we should leave the state of nature and join the social contract. And we should do so honestly. If these are the circumstances that are going to protect our life, protect our own interests, then yes, you have to give up some of your rights in order to protect your life. Now, I gave an example from everyday life where uh, the, you know, the sort of line of reasoning is followed regarding obey, abiding by the social contract versus you know, deviating from it. Right? So speeding and passing the cars, that's leaving the social contract. That's like re-entering the state of nature versus waiting in line, which is staying in, the, is staying in the social contract. And if you can make these choices, so can anybody else. So, you know, if you decide to speed and pass the cars, well, then you, you, know, you get a speedy arrival where you're going. You don't have to wait. You're not bored. You don't hate the trip. And everybody else has to probably arrive late because, you know, cutting in front of them. And you know, the reverse is true. If you decide to wait in line and other people decide to speed and pass you. And this might seem to be all there is to it. But if everybody decides to speed and pass these cars, well, it's likely going to be a pile up or some you know, even more congestion. And if you, if everybody decides to wait in line, well, yeah, it takes more time for you to wait in line, but you know, you're probably going to get there. And on the surface, sure, it seems like the better choice to look up for your own interest is to speed and pass up, regardless of what other people are doing, to speed and pass up. But, okay, right? Because you know, pile up sure seems better than a late or never arriving, and you know, a speedy arrival certainly seems better than taking more time. But if you could do it. Everybody else could do it, which means there's going to be a pileup, whereas everybody just waits on that. Well, this takes more time, sure, but you're going to get there. So Hobbes says to stick to the social contract. And I gave one example of sticking to the social contract. I want you to give another version. Try to think of something in everyday life where you, where abiding, where you can abide by the social contract or deviate from it. And it should follow this format, this basic idea, where you have two choices, either sticking to the social contract or you know, leaving it, right? Entering the state of, effectively entering the state of nature as far as that's concerned. And where it sure seems like the consequences are better if you deviate from social norms, if you deviate from the social contract, well, you also have to consider what happens if everybody does it versus whether everybody stays in the social contract. So follow the instructions in the assignment and give me your version of this social contract. Give me your version of cooperating with others versus trying to look out just for yourself.